I have nine paintings and have room to display only four of them at a time on my wall. How many different ways could I do this? So if we think about this, we have nine paintings and only four spots on the wall. So we have our nine paintings. And they can adjust between our four spots. So our paintings can be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, H, I. So you have nine paintings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And to visualize this, the spots on the wall, our first one would say is A, B, C, D on the wall. Or we have A, B, C instead of D. You know, we have an E there. And you kind of get the idea. We have all these different combinations that can happen here. Okay. Well, our order matters in this sense. We have spot one, spot two, spot three, and spot four. Since order matters here, we're going to use a permutation. Our formula here, N, capital P, R, is equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial. N being, in this case, the number of pins we have, number of options, that need to fit into these four spots. So we would have 9P4, in this case, that would be 9 factorial over a 9 minus 4 factorial. Now, 9 factorial, visualize this out, is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 9 minus 4, right? 9 minus 4 here, that's going to give us a 5. So we have 5 factorial here. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if we're going to simplify this out, don't necessarily just multiply across the numerator and then the denominator here, finding the factorials. Fives cancel, fours cancel, threes cancel, twos cancel, ones cancel. So we have nine times eight times seven times six here. And that comes out to be 3,024 permutations. So they are 3,024 different ways that we can take our nine paintings and move them to four different spots on our walls. I hope you learned something here about permutations, and as always, thanks for watching.